Hello, Grand Rapids. I'm City Manager Mark Washington. So good to be with you today. I want to encourage everyone to continue uh, to practice safe social distancing and masking now. Uh, CDC has recommended masking because of the rise of the Delta variant and uh, here in Kent County, even though that we're, we have a, a pretty decent vaccination rate compared to other parts of the country, we are seeing an increase in COVID infections. So we want to encourage you uh, to, to mask, particularly when you're indoor. Outdoor recreational activities are one of the safest things that you can do. But again, continue to uh, uh, make sure that you take the appropriate health precautions. The best thing you can do for those of you that are not vaccinated is to uh, pursue uh, vaccination. And so please, whatever your, your choice is, make sure that you maintain uh, your health and safety for you and others. Also, I want to continue to remind those uh, who are in need of rental assistance. We still had COVID emergency relief funding uh, for those that need rental assistance. Uh, Kent County uh, has information on their website about how to pursue uh, applications as well as the City of Grand Rapids, or if you want to call and get more information, please call 311 if you're in need of emergency rental assistance. Uh, we allocated in an area almost $38 million towards that endeavor. Today I am out at the lovely Indian Trails Golf Course in the third ward of our city. A great, great community asset, over 90 acres of greens and a well-managed course, and, and partly because of the work of my golf course manager, Craig Konya. And I want to thank you, Craig, for and you and the staff for all the work that you do out here and keeping the greens beautiful. And one of the things that you have, I've seen and you've seen also during uh, since the pandemic is the increased utilization of this great facility. You want to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. It's good to have you here this morning, Mr. Washington. It's been, an, you know, a pretty interesting 18 months. You know, when uh, we started uh, back in April, we had to close down for a couple of weeks and then we couldn't have carts for a couple of weeks and there was a lot of navigating that had to go take place. And then last summer was one of our busiest summers uh, on record. You know, so many people were looking to get outside and to, you know, stay safe and keep social distance and you know golf is a is a, is a great activity you know to, to do those type of things so yeah we, we had a great uh, 2020 uh, saw a lot of new golfers come out to the golf course and they keep coming back yeah <laughs> well and the thing about what i've noticed here is that you've been very intentional about uh, making sure that golf is is a recreational activity for everyone and whether it's getting people involved in the first tee program and being yeah. intentional about diversifying the participants that are being introduced to golf yeah. or even transitioning it from people who are not pure golfers but maybe more hybrid exercisers and yeah. and the uh, speed golf you want to talk yeah. a little bit about the speed golf sure yeah you know keeping in line with our strategic plan you know for parks and rec you know we want to try to be you know innovative and um, you know, speed golf kind of falls in line with that. It's a, you know, it's a great um, um, aerobic activity and it kind of couples running and golf together. And so we started in July to kind of uh, kind of kicked off that program. And so we, we offer speed golf, which is, you know, playing golf at the fastest pace you possibly can and still shooting a good score. And as you found out this past weekend, <laughs> it's, a, it's a heck of a workout. It, it is, it, it was, uh, I had a chance to do it for the first time and I uh, played 18 holes in about an hour and a half. I don't wow. know what the record is. I think you did about half that time. But that's pretty fast yeah. and um, showed that I did almost five miles and my heart rate was up the entire time between wow. running and swinging. And the more you swing, and the worse golfer you are, the more exercise you're gonna get in terms <laughs> that's of right. the upper body, but it's a great exercise. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it's, it's uh, this is kind of a kind of a trial, you know, summer for us. Uh, we're just kind of introducing it to the community and, and we have a, a good group already, a kind of a core group of speed golfers that, that come on a weekly basis. Yeah, so, so again, I wanna thank you for your work and the work that you and your staff do in terms of managing the greens and making sure this is available for everyone, affordable yeah. for everyone. And I want to encourage everyone to get out, come and experience uh, uh, one of the pride uh, joys of our city here at Indian Trails. And continue to be safe and uh, hopefully we'll see you in a couple of months.